Hello, Royal fans! Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on all things royal. Today, we're diving into a major moment in King Charles III's reign as he receives new military titles during his first official visit to Australia as monarch. This trip has been making waves, not only because of the king's new honorary ranks, but also due to the backlash from anti-monarchy groups. Before we get into all the details, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel asterisk asterisk, and click that notification bell so you never miss an update. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments, we'd love to hear what you think about this latest development. King Charles III has reached a monumental moment in his reign, earning new honorary military titles during his inaugural visit to Australia as the reigning monarch. At 75, the king is already making significant strides in his role, continuing a legacy of deep ties with the Commonwealth nations. His visit, marked by both celebration and protest, has attracted widespread attention, especially as he was honored with the ranks of Admiral of the Fleet of the Royal Australian Navy, Field Marshal of the Australian Army, and Marshal of the Royal Australian Air Force. The first day of his Australian tour was nothing short of momentous. King Charles, dressed impeccably in military regalia, was welcomed with a ceremony that not only highlighted his new titles, but also paid tribute to his long-standing relationship with the Australian Defence Force, ADF. These new roles reinforced the bond between Australia and the British monarchy, symbolizing the historic and ongoing cooperation between the two nations. This wasn't just a random gesture from the Australian military. King Charles has had a deep connection with Australia for decades, beginning in 1977, when he was appointed Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Australian Armoured Corps. Over the years, he has demonstrated immense respect for the ADF, often acknowledging their sacrifices and contributions during global conflicts. During the ceremony, Chief of the Defence Force Admiral David Johnston stated, the sovereign serves as an example of service, and His Majesty's appointments are symbolic of the royal family's long-standing dedication and relationship with the nation. This dedication is clearly visible in the King's actions. Even during his time as Prince of Wales, Charles often attended military events, not only in the UK but across Commonwealth nations. His appointment to these new roles only deepens his commitment to Australia and its military personnel. Ms. Mostyn, another prominent figure involved in the ceremony, added, Australians share His Majesty's pride in the ADF, its sailors, soldiers, and aviators, and the loved ones who support them. While many in Australia celebrate King Charles's new military honours, not everyone is on board. Anti-monarchy groups in the country have voiced their dissatisfaction, staging protests during his visit. These groups argue that it's time for Australia to fully break away from the British monarchy and become a republic. Their protests, though relatively small, have garnered attention, particularly as more and more Australians debate the future of the monarchy and the nation. The anti-monarchy movement in Australia is not new, but it has gained momentum since Queen Elizabeth II's passing. Many feel that the ties to the British crown are outdated, and that Australia should be an independent republic. These sentiments were amplified during King Charles's visit, where protesters held up signs and chanted slogans calling for the monarchy to end its influence in the country. Despite the protests, King Charles has remained focused on his duties, continuing with his public engagements and emphasizing the importance of the Commonwealth's shared history. For his part, Charles has always been a proponent of dialogue and understanding, and while he hasn't directly addressed the protests, his actions during the visit have been seen as a quiet reminder of the monarchy's enduring role in Australian society. Despite the growing calls for republicanism, there's no denying that the British monarchy has played a pivotal role in Australian history. The appointment of King Charles to these new honorary military titles underscores the deep-rooted ties between the UK and Australia, particularly in the areas of defence and diplomacy. For many Australians, the monarchy remains a symbol of continuity, tradition, and stability. King Charles, in particular, has worked hard to modernize the monarchy and make it more relevant to contemporary issues. His environmental advocacy, commitment to social causes, and now his efforts to support military personnel all demonstrate his desire to lead a monarchy that serves the people in meaningful ways. 
Some analysts believe that the monarchy's continued relevance in Australia depends on its ability to adapt to the changing political and social landscape. King Charles's tour has been seen as an attempt to strengthen ties with younger generations, many of whom are less connected to the monarchy than their predecessors. By focusing on military service and national pride, Charles may be seeking to remind Australians of the positive contributions the monarchy has made to the country. King Charles has made it clear throughout his reign that service is at the heart of his mission. His new military titles in Australia are not just ceremonial, they are a reflection of his ongoing commitment to service, both in the UK and across the Commonwealth. His mother, Queen Elizabeth II, was known for her unwavering dedication to public service, and it's clear that Charles is following in her footsteps. These new roles also reflect a larger theme of Charles's reign, continuity with a modern twist. He honors tradition, but is also eager to adapt to modern challenges. His deep respect for the military is evident in his new appointments, and his efforts to bridge the gap between tradition and modernity will likely define his time as king. Since ascending to the throne, King Charles has faced numerous challenges and milestones, both at home and abroad. His visit to Australia, while marked by protests, is ultimately a testament to his commitment to the nations of the Commonwealth. By accepting these prestigious military titles, Charles is not only honoring his personal connection to the Australian Armed Forces, but also reinforcing the importance of the monarchy's relationship with Australia. Looking ahead, it will be interesting to see how King Charles continues to navigate the challenges of his reign. His focus on service, particularly in the military and environmental sectors, is likely to be a key aspect of his legacy. That's it for today's Royal Update. What do you think about King Charles's new military titles in Australia? Do you think these titles will help strengthen the monarchy's connection with Australia? Or do you think the anti-monarchy protests signal a growing shift toward republicanism? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel asterisk asterisk, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future royal updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.